first released in 2018, New Age Caravan's Wayfinder has had some significant updates for 2020. It has more storage, a new front end, and for any equipped with an adventure pack, a new CR2 Cruise Master independent suspension. We've dragged one all the way into the Victorian high country to give it a thorough review. The Wayfinder rides on a Walkinshaw designed and engineered chassis that has been robot welded and hot dip galvanized. The frame is Maranti and the cladding is Aluco Bond. The floor is one piece and the canvas is Australian made. Our review Wayfinder also had the optional Adventurer pack fitted, which adds independent suspension from Cruise Master, 16 inch wheels, and all terrain tyres as well as Raptor coating to the already well-equipped base package. Inside the Wayfinder is super spacious, especially when you get the double-end bed. Now this will comfortably sleep five people. We've got a 93 litre fridge, 80 litres of water, and it does come with a battery. The MY20 has new cabinetry that emphasises storage as well as a new moulded front end that I think looks better. A detail you won't see but I think is clever is a move to an electrical loom designed specifically for the Wayfinder with future upgrades like solar which the BP35M is ready to receive. Setting up pop tops is a breeze until you add on extensions and the 12 foot family Wayfinder has two which worried me a bit when I first saw it but I'm happy to say both ends slide out easily on smooth runners and the canvas fits the frames well. I reckon our setup time was around 20 minutes, maybe a bit more, but I'm confident you could get that down to around 12 to 15 minutes with some practice. The move to Cruisemaster CRS2 independent trailing arm suspension for the Adventurer pack is great. Not that the standard road focused slipper spring suspension is bad, but it's just well road focused and campers are about getting out back, going places you wouldn't take a big caravan. Cruise Master's CRS2 is designed as a semi-off-road suspension and can handle the 1880 kilo ATM with ease. Cruise Master actually rates it to 2500 kilos in single axles, so you know it's going to be well and truly tough enough for the lightweight Wayfinder. We towed with an HSV Sports Cat, the souped up Colorado, it comes with a 3500 kilo tow limit, so it was never going to be an issue. I could see owners using older SUVs like a Prado or even an older Hilux, and some sedans and wagons like the Sabara Outback have the capacity to tow the lightweight Wayfinder. Not having to go out and buy a big new SUV or new ute further reinforces how affordable the lightweight Wayfinder is. It's light, it's compact, and it's easy to tow. Plus, with the Adventure Pack, it adds a heap of off-road capability. But what stands out is that under $37,000, it will comfortably sleep five. The New Age Wayfinder is the gateway to caravanning Australia.